here tonight we're coming from our fire pit tonight because we thought this was much better scenery than our boring walls in the house so we're just gonna enjoy a little video out here and Ozzy some outside time as you can tell he is loving this so today I want to talk about parrot safety this is so important to me uh, this is one of the things I researched so much before I got Ozzy and talking with other parrot owners I really worry that some people maybe didn't research like they should or just don't care maybe and it really bothers me so I'm hoping somebody out there may see this video and change what they're doing with their parrot I had so many people you know ask well your parrot's so well behaved and he has you know he's so pretty he's so white and there's reasons he's like that it, it just doesn't happen so you have to your parrot safety and uh, how you feed your parrot, um, every like thing like that is so important to your parrot because you can kill your parrot. And if you're not educated on this, it can happen, you know, just like that. This lady was saying, oh, I had an umbrella cockatoo for three years, got him from a breeder, oh, and he died three years later. And I said, well, uh, what was his diet? Oh, I fed him Cheetos and, you know, ice cream. And then I was like, are you kidding me? And that breaks my heart because these birds could live up to 80 years. So if you're feeding a bird that bad that it could die within three years, that's really worrisome to me. So I really feel like we need to get this out there. And not only that, um, just keeping your bird in, your, in the cage all the time. This could call, just like a person, do you want to be by yourself stuck somewhere in a room all the time? No, you don't. So that can cause depression and things in these birds and make them angry. And and she was like, oh, well, he bit all the time. I'm like, well, what did you do with him? Oh, he stayed in his cage. Well, I'm going to be mad too if you keep me locked up all the time. So you, you got to have some common sense, but I guess some people just don't know these things. So I'm hoping this video will help with that. So the title is, Are You Killing Your Parrot? Because you could be killing your parrot and not even knowing it. Um, the first thing I want to go over is what not to feed your parrot. Onions and garlic. Do not feed your parrot this. They cause anemia in parrots and can cause death. Avocado. It has a toxin in it that can kill your parrot. And if you don't research or anything, you don't know this and you give it to your parrot and you wake up the next day and your parrot's dead. That just breaks my heart that there's probably tons of parrots out there that have died of this just because nobody was educated on it. And then tomatoes, they can cause ulcers in your parrot. Celery, now celery, your parrot can have celery, but you just need to make sure the stringy part is not in there because that can mess with, your, with their digestive uh, system. Okay. Yeah, tell them about it, Oz. And then mushrooms. Okay. Uh, mon uh, mushrooms can have fungus on them which will mess up their digestive system. Peanuts can also have fungus on them, which a lot of people still feed their birds peanuts, but we just stay away from them because they could have the fungus and mess up his digestive system, and I just don't want that. And then um, a lot of people do all seed diets for these guys, and all you're doing is giving your bird a fatty liver, and that's going to cause them to die way earlier than they should. So you really, I mean, they can have seeds in months, but that needs to be like 10% of their diet. So you don't need to be giving your bird nuts and seeds only because all you're doing is killing your bird. Um, let's see. And your pellets. Um, you need to get your bird the best pellets possible because their pellets are probably about 50% of their whole diet. So... You need to invest there if you're going to invest in anything because that's what's going to be with them all day, you know, what they eat the most of. So, <laughs> say hi. But we go with the tops, and um, they're great. I'm going to put a link below. You do not have to buy them from this link, but I do suggest you buy them from somewhere because you don't need to have cheap pellets for your parrot because it's not good for them at all. Um... Let's see, Harrison's is also a good 
pellet, I would, I would recommend them as well. You just want to look for something or, organic. You tell them about it, I say, yeah, I love my pellets. But um, you don't want anything that's not organic and is full of stuff that your bird doesn't need. It's just full of junk, pretty much, is all I feel it full of. And it is cheaper. I get that, but if you invest, like I say, I think our bag was $75, and it was huge, and we're going on three months with Ozzy. It's kind of hard to believe, but three months with Ozzy, and this bag, we still have a good, it'll probably last at least another two months, so $70 for five months worth of food. You really can't beat that. So Tops or Harrison's is what I'm going to say you should go with for a pellet. Um, and malnutrition is the number one cause of early death in parrots. So their diet is so important. Um, chop. Ozzy eats chop every day. Um, I feel like all birds should have this. If you can't give it to them every day, maybe three times a week. But chop is just vegetables and um, you can put fruit in there. We normally don't because Ozzy loves fruit anyway, so he'll eat the fruit. But the vegetables is what I try to get in. If your bird won't eat chop, try mixing just a little bit of a plain baked potato with it. That's what Ozzy had tonight. Or sweet potato or boiled eggs. And they're, they will um, eventually eat it. But uh, vegetables is so important for your bird. So try to get those in as much as you can. And fruits, we try to do fruits about three times a week. Like I say, this is not a problem with Ozzy because he literally eats any fruit you put in front of him, which most birds probably will. And the seed and nuts, you're not going to have problems with that because that's like a treat. That's Ozzy's treats and his foraging. That's what we use that for a lot. So, and sprouts. They need... Um, sprouts in their diet you can add this to their chop and it really helps it gives a good mixture <laughs> you telling them about it um and a bad diet can also lead to your bird being hormonal and a plucker and nobody wants that so if any if you don't listen to anything else in this video please feed your bird a good diet you can give your bird such a good life with just a good diet and it makes them happier and healthier. So we're going to go on to um, their respiratory system is so sensitive. So when you decide to get a bird, you're going to have to go through the whole house and clean out things. Like I feel like I literally got rid of half the stuff in my house. Um, heavy metals, lead, zinc, copper. Um... Of course, don't smoke around your bird. I hate that I have to say this, but I'm sure a lot of people do. But actually, where we adopted Ozzy from, there was a macaw there. Beautiful macaw, but she had no feathers. And I said, oh, she's a plucker. And she said, no. She said her owner actually smoked around her. So this caused her feathers to come out, and her feathers will never grow back. And she's actually been there, I think, 10 years now. But people would tell her that um, the McCall was too ugly to adopt, which is mind-blowing to me because I would have taken the bird in a heartbeat. But now they're not going to adopt her out just because they want to make sure she has a good life. So she's like the spokesperson of their adoption agency. But anyway, that's what smoke can do to your bird. Take away the feathers and they never come back. And that's so, so sad. Um, also, oh um, aerosols and anything you clean with in your house or used to make your house smell better for babies, uh, candles. This was my biggest problem. I had to get rid of all my candles, all my wax burners, and it kind of broke my heart. Especially right now, I'm missing the fall because the pumpkin smell. But it was worth it for Ozzy. But, um, yeah, you're going to have to get rid of all of these and use... Hi. Say hi. And use all okay. natural cleaners. Um, oh, my goodness. And you can use vinegar. <laughs> so, 
true. He may let me finish this video. He may not. But yeah, you can use all night <coughs> cleaners, uh, vinegar. You just want to stay away from all the Hi. regular cleaners and just use all natural products around your bird. Teflon is another one. Any kind of... Um, so if I stop, you stop. <laughs> Any kind of non-stick pan, get it out of your house because this can mess with their respiratory system and kill them. It's because they're... Their lungs, the air they breathe in, they use almost all of their air. Like when we breathe in, we don't use 10% of our air, and I think they use 90% is what the vet said. So anything they breathe in is going straight to their lungs and will kill them. <clears throat> so this is pretty much all I have on safety. Other than when you take your bird out, of course, have them leashed. Because, like I say, Ozzy, I don't think would fly away, but he could. And you may have a bird that sees a tree, and they're gone if you don't have them on a leash. And you may never get them back. There's so many stories on YouTube of people that, sorry, got a bug, of so many people that have lost their birds because their birds fly away, and they're not on a leash, and then their bird's gone for good. And I could not imagine the heartbreak you would have with that. So keep your bird leashed, harnessed, and um, just be careful of other animals. If you're out, like if we see a dog, we just make sure we know what's going on with Ozzy and make sure that there's no danger or anything. Um, hawks. We have a lot of hawks around us here. And Ozzy will let you know when there's a hawk around. He, will, he has a contact call like crazy. He will scream so loud. And the only other thing I want to touch on is just make sure you're doing this for your bird. Because you got them to give, to give them a good life. And two birds, they hide when they're sick so well. So if you're not doing these things and you're slowly killing your bird, most people don't know it till it's too late. They wake up and the birds die. Just because these birds can hide it so well. So, and Ozzy's kind of got my mind somewhere else but um that is it for right now i hope you enjoy this video um i hope you learn a little more about bird safety and taking care of your bird and you could share this with the other people that may need to know come here Oz. you want to tell them bye no 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 you tell them bye you want to tell them bye bye and I also want to thank my subscribers. I'm, we're just so excited. We had no idea that this channel would do this good. We weren't ah! even going to do a YouTube. We were just asked by some people in the mountains, Oh, does he have a YouTube? Let us check it out. We want to see him. And, and we weren't even thinking about it. But after that, we thought, you know, it would be a good idea. And I remember before getting a bird that I watched Marlene McCohan, Bird Tricks, uh, Max, Harley. Ah! I know I'm leaving out some, but... Ah! Honey, and we watched all these birds just to learn everything we could about these beautiful birds. And I just want to thank the subscribers. And once we hit 100 subscribers, we are going to give a giveaway. So, and that could be coming up here pretty soon. So stay tuned. And I just want to thank everybody. And I subscribed to our channel. Like, and I'm going to get off here now so we can put Ozzy to bed. Everybody have a good night.